Good evening, parents. This is Mary Keenly, principal of St. Teresa's School, and today is January 18th, 2021. It's time for another parent update. I'd like to welcome everybody back to in-person schooling starting tomorrow. Thank you for all you did to make the two weeks of remote instruction possible. Teachers did a great job, you guys did a great job, but we're all very excited to be coming back into the building tomorrow, Tuesday morning, ready to go. We start our time back at school with some good news from the Archdiocese. The travel quarantine that used to be 14 days has now been reduced to 10 days. This refers to domestic travel only. International travel is still on the longer quarantine. The other nice thing about the quarantine is that it is retroactive to the whole month of January. So if you were a little late getting back from Christmas break or if you had to make a side trip, please let Mrs. Montre know and she'll work out that 10 day quarantine with you. The other piece of good news that we just received is that teachers are now considered essential workers and they will be vaccinated in phase 1A. We estimate this to be late February, early March, but it could be even earlier than that. It could be late January, early February, based on what we're seeing right now. As soon as the teachers get vaccinated, we have a whole new ball game here. And I know you as the parents are thinking the same thing. Just a couple reminders that if you travel or you attend a sporting event that is out of the state of Illinois, even if it's for just one day, please notify Mrs. Montre before you leave or before you attend your sporting event. There's hot and heavy hockey season right now. I know soccer is picking up, cheer, all the regular events that you guys love to participate in are in now. Please, if that's the choice you're making, do it. Go ahead, participate in your events. Just let Mrs. Montre know and she will work with you on how to manage this during this goofy COVID time. Also, if your child is sick, please keep doing what you have been doing, keeping them home, even if it's just little colds, little things that you would normally send them to school, please just keep them home. You've done a great job of this. Keep doing it. Regarding spring break and spring break travel, travel, we still don't have information from the arch, but we know it's coming. They're working on it now, looking at the what Christmas, what happened with Christmas, watching the vaccine, and they're going to make a great decision for us regarding spring break, just like they did for Christmas. So tomorrow we're back in the building. Everybody, teachers, kids, everybody's excited to have the everybody back home. Just a reminder, tomorrow is a drive day. There are no buses. And because everybody is gonna be bringing back all their school items that they brought home from remote learning, the drop off is gonna probably be a little bit on the slow side. So come early, be patient. We'll get everybody in the building get everybody back to their classrooms. If they have an extra heavy load, we'll help the kids bring their stuff back. They'll get their devices returned where they belong and everything will hopefully return back to normal, at least as normal as anything gets at St. Teresa tomorrow. If you have a school device at home with you, you do have to bring it back on Tuesday. There will be tables set up according to the instructions that Mr. Tuntland gave you um, in the building. Please bring your device right to the reporting station Report any damage that you have. Don't worry about it. If you if you broke a screen or you damaged a key, just let them know. Um, we'll take care of it. We'll work with you on this. We are aware of wear and tear. There is one piece of damage that I do want to talk to you about is please, I beg you, do not put these in your child's backpack. They are very crushable devices. Both the, um, the Chrome tabs and the Chromebooks are crushable if you put them in the backpacks. So please send them in a side bag. Heck, you could even put them in the gym bag. It would be better off. Um, but be very careful bringing those devices back into school so that they all come back intact. We can turn them around on Tuesday and get them back into the kids' hands by midday on Tuesday. If you have any questions about your devices or any concerns, please reach out to Mr. Tuntland and he'll take care of you. So what's coming up in the upcoming days? To start with, on Wednesday, according to the 20th Amendment of the Constitution, we will have our presidential inauguration. Because of the security and safety concerns that have been expressed, we will not be live streaming this event. And I can't tell you how utterly disappointing this is to me. Um, I'm a student of history. I have a degree in political science, and this just kills me that we can't be live streaming this event. But when you weigh 
what could be happening versus what you want your kids exposed to, it doesn't make sense to live stream it. So what we will be doing is that at noon uh, Washington time, which will be 11 o'clock our time, we will be watching it in the school office. If everything goes as planned, we will get that um, recorded version out to the kids so that the teachers can show the recorded version to the kids um, in class. This is a protection that we're gonna be taking um, and it will be accompanied by my and many of your prayers that this time that we're dealing with in our country ends very quickly and we can get back to, back to peace. And on that subject, I do request that you talk to your children about charity and kindness, that during this time of inauguration and this wonderful opportunity we have to disagree politically, which is a gift of our constitution, part of our God-given rights of freedom of speech, that we do have freedom of speech, but it must be done always in the context of charity and kindness. And I regret that your children haven't seen that modeled on social media and the news and, and politically in the world, but we have to model it ourselves. So as they discuss their opinions about, um, about the inauguration, about the election, please remind them that charity and kindness must always prevail in our words and our action, and that political disagreement is very good for a democracy. So on to what else is coming up. We've already started a re-enrollment for 21-22. That began on January 5th, you came back to school. The automatic registration fee of $125 in students will be billed on your smart accounts on February 17th. Financial assistance is already open. It has a two-step process. You must apply for the TCS and that opened on January the 13th and the official um, application process will follow that. If you apply for TCS, you'll be getting an email to that effect. And then the Smart Aid process, which is our own local program, is open as well. But you have to have the tax credit scholarship in first, then apply for Smart Aid. It is our intention in August to be open uh, for regular school, no masks, uh, regular class sizes, regular movement of students within the building. And we are expecting an enrollment of approximately 400 students. That's a revival of the enrollment path that we were on prior to the epidemic. So things look great for next year. We're very excited. If you're unsure of your plans, please, out, please reach out to Mrs. Colbus as soon as possible so you can discuss that with her. Otherwise, everyone will be automatically re-enrolled re and please go ahead and, and apply for the tax credit scholarship and apply for financial assistance if you need that support, especially in these goofy economic times we're in now. Some great upcoming events that we have in the school. Tomorrow is a drive day, as you know. We're getting ready for Catholic Schools Week, which will be January 31st through February 5th. We will be opening with a Catholic Schools Week Mass, which will, you will be able to sign up for to come in person or to live stream. We're also preparing for the celebration of Valentine's Day, which we will be celebrating on February the 12th. Um, and you're probably wondering why I'm bringing it up now. Well, because it's a little uh, challenging to do in this environment, but your parents association is already on it, getting ready Catholic Schools Week and Valentine's Day. And then following Valentine's Day, we'll jump right into Lent. So thank you very much for your time. And on a personal note, thank you very much for all your prayers and your condolences. The Keenly family has had a rough year, but supported by your prayer, it's gonna work out just fine. We've made it halfway. Tomorrow is day 90 of 180 days of school. So we made it half day, heck, we're halfway. We can make it the whole way. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank you for your support and have a great day. See everybody in the morning.